I just found $50, literally in my jeans. <laughs> That was very embarrassing. So today's a big project, um, mostly because I have no idea what I'm doing. We're going to put in a new air intake with a GM uh, intake air temperature sensor, which is going to get rid of the clunky map sensor that's heavy and stupid. In order to read that, we're going to need a new ECU, which I'm very excited for because it's fancy. Just look at it. And we're also going to put in a wideband O2 sensor. Okay, so this just happened. Hold on, hold on, wait a second. Be patient. Patience is a virtue. Okay, so this bolt just sheared off and it holds my heat shield on. I mean, I guess we just don't need it anymore, right? Alright, the intake has to come off now first. Yeah! I'm gonna jack you up, motherfucker! PB Blaster solves everything. So that didn't work at all. So against my better judgment, as I do with everything, I'm gonna reconnect the MAF sensor, but outside the car. Uh, I'm just gonna run it for a few minutes, and hopefully the heat will expand it up enough that I can get it out. Blowtorch would be better, so I don't have to work around hot exhaust pipes, but I don't have one. Does Matt have one? Matt? Sir? Hello? Do you have a blowtorch of some kind? Somewhere? I don't think he does. I feel like that's something Chris probably would have bought. But I don't see one. This is all we got. I don't think that's going to really do anything. Wish me luck. That didn't work. And here's probably what we want. Because none of this shit's connected, right? TV blast they're burning off. I probably shouldn't breathe it in though, so I'm gonna go over here. Yeah, definitely, definitely don't don't try this at home. I'm gonna I'm gonna go on record and say that what I'm doing is probably a terrible idea. Danger. Flammable. You do that and your motor bursts into flames. Remember I told you not to do that. Holy shit, it worked! Okay, but again, disclaimer, don't spray flammable stuff onto your exhaust while it's running, but it does work. It's all about taking risks. This is very freaking. This, this is what I was trying to get at. It's not easy. Oh, ooh, 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 that was real close. See if a brag or something at least. Okay, again, probably a bad idea. Let's see if we can't just spin it off now. And it's out, we did it. I mean, I did it. No, no one else really helped with that, but I did it. The exhaust is still very, very hot. Show you how stupid that was. That shit's still burning hot. Now we gotta see if this one fits. Which I hope to God it does. Oh my God, it fits. I'm so happy. And that's super hot and I keep touching it. And this wire keeps like twisting and getting stuck like that as I spin it. So we'll have to figure something out. Okay, so I'm taking the old connector where it connects to the car. And I'm going to take this piece and just tape up a little piece of strap rag on it. So you know that's where that other one goes. Really one tiny step. This can be out now though. This part I need. Unfortunately, I fucking hate this pipe. That's garbage though. I don't want to put it in when it's cold and then the engine heat up and it back out or something because that's something that would happen to me. But again, working on a hot car. I wish I had gloves. I wasn't supposed to do that yet. I'm just test fitting it. Fits, let's take it back out. And it's out again, we did it amazing, yay. Got a tenth of my burns. Well, it's starting to rain outside, so that's convenient when I burn myself again. This is the sensor and this is the controller. I gotta wire this into the car, power, and then data lines. I go to the ECU and the gauge. I need to calibrate it because it's a new sensor, and I need to do that in open air, so it can't be in the exhaust when I do that. So I have to wire this up first, get it 
powered and then plug it into this with some other supplied cable that they have. And these lines get power and then one of these goes to the existing O2 pinout because that pinout's going to be on this piece. The stock harness is going to plug into here which will plug into the aftermarket ECU. So the existing harness where the narrow band is, this is going to be looking for a wide band signal. They're being loud over there. So long story short, I have to put this in first before I can put this in. Go figure that out, I guess. Never mind, you're stupid. We're going to, I think, follow that line back and use this line. You know, we'll save that for later. God, God damn it. This thing's always causing me problems. Now it's dark as fuck in here and he stopped. Are you done, mister? They're arguing about stuff. The O2 cable goes down this way and back into the firewall somewhere down there. And then I believe pops out with the rest of the wiring and harness in the void down here. At that point, we might as well start digging into the ECU. Let's get to it. Okay, so we're gonna start by taking out the seat. Oh, fuck me. No, we gotta do everything over again. Okay, so down here are the timing marks. This is the mark to line up with these so you know what your timing's at. I need to know what my timing's at so that I can tell the new ECU what the timing of the engine is. However, this mark does not line up here when the engine is running with a timing light because this has slipped, this whole thing needs to be replaced. In order to set the timing, I have to now put a screwdriver down this one, find top dead center by manually cranking over the engine, put a new mark down there, set the timing, and then we can do everything. Okay, so normally you want to use like white out for something like this, but I don't have white out or any kind of white mark or anything. So I got my little mark here, lines up, I don't know if you can see the little T. So it's that top dead center, so I make a mark. So how I did that was I took this that I found in the garage and took a little blade of grass. You just paint it until it starts to drip and I cut a little, little score in where top dead center is so it can drip into. And then you just lightly tap it on so it drips in. We got a timing light. Battery's probably better for that, but my battery's in the trunk and it doesn't reach. We'll light the wire and you connect the ground and 10 pins on the diagnostic box. Start the car. All right, we're gonna get out of the car. We're gonna walk around the garage and look for the keys. to see but we got the dot right two notches past the 10 which would be 14 degrees uh it's raining now but i think now we're actually ready to get started i can rip this back out because it's not really held in by anything the o2 sensor is not locked down locked down so maybe i'll just break it loose and let that cool because that's really hot now i think we'll just rip the seat out Okay, so that one broke off. I mean, I guess that's kind of okay, but I think Matt has an impact gun. I mean, worst case scenario, this is just gonna rip them off faster, so. Yeah, it rips them off faster. Okay, so that one, last one on the end, uh, he's just totally rounded off now. So we're just gonna Jeremy Clarkson it. That worked. Okay, so luckily it looks like it was just that piece of sheet metal that was all fucked up. Bottom of the car looks pretty good. It's just under with all this dust of shit. I feel like I've struck gold. All right, so the wiring harness is free. We're in a tough spot here. Uh, not a chance. 
This is the uh, ECU, stock ECU, sat in the car up and like this. Water got all on this, and the bracket that sat across here was basically rusted solid. This piece did not want to come unscrewed, but this was all flaking and falling away. I don't know how we're going to secure the new one in now, but we'll figure something out. Now though, I could really use like a vacuum to clean up all this shit over here. I don't think Matt has the shop vac. The O2 sensor goes right here, and there's a hole right here, and this fits perfectly through the hole. You can see that, how perfect that is. So we're just going to thread it through there, and then run it across behind, behind the cabin to get to the ECU. I think that's probably our best bet. No idea where this is coming out of on the other side. That'll work, right? And then this can go back and down here. Nice. Doing, I'm doing this wrong again. I'm trying to plug it in. Don't want to plug it in. Plug it into this until that's set up. Okay, so now it goes through the firewall behind the radio and it comes out here. I'm gonna figure something out to do with it from here. And I think that's probably where we're gonna keep that for a while because that's tiny. I mean, I'll zip tie up these wires so they stay in a nice little coil. Gotta wire this thing up now. Okay, so the wideband is all wired up. We're just gonna leave it here, not touching anything. We're all wired up here. It's wired down there, and all we have to do is plug this into the stock harness and start it up, and we should see some action on this thing, and that will calibrate the sensor, and then we should be ready from there. So we're not going to start the car. We're just going to put the key in, turn it to the on position. I see no lights. Okay, so it turns out why it's not getting power is most likely because the power cable soldered into the wrong place. Labels are like cut off on this edge of the board. So yeah, it's most definitely, it's just wired in the wrong place. So this time we can plug it in. Now it's plugged in. Okay, it's already flashing. That's good news. Thinking faster and now it's solid. I don't really know what, remember what we're supposed to be waiting for. I think it's gonna, supposed to go red. Wait, I gotta do it with the sensor unplugged first. I'm gonna go get the intro. I think we may need to switch the power source. I think instead we're going to run a new wire for this. Okay, so that is apparently calibrating it. So I'm gonna leave it there for at least 30 seconds, it says it's probably already been close to that. I'm just gonna leave it. Okay, I think it, I think it calibrated. So, what that means, I can unplug it now, then unplug it from the O2 sensor and then put the O2 sensor in the exhaust. As long as this isn't powered on while it's disconnected, we should be fine. It says the instructions, so let's do that. Very happy to be done with that. Now we can unplug this. I fucking hate clips. Which way should I destroy my finger trying to get it off? There we go. We can now thread this into here. Reconnect it, shove it back in its hole. Okay, so I'm definitely forgetting something, but here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take this piece off of this, put this back on here. This is the intake. Built it there with the heat shield. I had my brother 3D printed this part, which houses the intake temperature sensor. There was nowhere for that to go. 
I could have drilled a hole in one of the plastics or something, but you know what, this was more fun. I have it taped up too, just for a little more peace of mind. Oh, fuck me in the ass, I did this backwards. We might be able to make it work, but the filter goes on here, and those are in the way. So I gotta take it off and put it back on. Oh, the map sensor. I need to run a line for the map sensor. Remind me to Google that. So that's on. Now we can stick the filter on. Now this whole thing can go in the car. Now looking over there on the floor, this looks like a mounting bracket for the old air box, which we will not need, so weight reduction. While we're in there, so we'll wipe this down a bit. Alright, so that's not super clean, but that's a lot better than it was. And this whole thing just rests in here like so. It fits so nicely. First time for the day, I dropped a tool in my engine bit though. It took a lot longer than I expected. Seems pretty good. That's in now. All right, so the only thing left here is to wire this up and then the map sensor. She forgot to remind me. And I think that's it. Of course the map should be here soonish. I honestly think it's it, everything is hooked up right, it's just not configured right. There's no reason I shouldn't be getting a spark. Like there's nothing I did unless the EC is fucked up. <laughs> okay, so we have a spark. I need to confirm it on the camera. I heard a spark. What? It's sparking. Holy shit! <laughs> this, this is the mess that we're working on now. And the problem we had was I followed guides online and followed too many different instructions. I fucked some shit up. The wires for the sparks are coming out of here, but they're supposed to come out of here. So I cut these, which were my sparks, and I have to wire a new spark, and we're getting a spark now. And hopefully with these two, we will get some kind of detonation of fuel. That'd be nice. You know, actual combustion. Yeah, some combustion, <laughs> not detonation. We want combustion. Give me some gas while you're doing it. We're getting somewhere. Okay, so it's one in the morning now and it still doesn't work. I got it to turn over and it's firing. I think the timing's right, but I also think I fried my coil pack. I'm calling it a night. I also very much regret everything that led up to this moment. 